Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got another question and answer video for you guys. I've done one before, but I think it needs a refresh. So I've left on Instagram and Facebook somewhere for you guys to leave your questions and I'm now going to answer them. So without further ado, let's roll into the video. So like I said in my intro, I've got another question and answers video for you guys. I've got all my questions here, so I'm going to jump straight in with the first one. So the first question is from my cousin Laura, which says, when is the wedding? So the wedding is booked for the 8th of July, 2023. So we've got a year and a bit left to plan and get everything ready. So a little bit of time, but I think it's gonna fly by. Next question is from my cousin Laura again. I think I've got quite a few questions from her and her friend right at the beginning. She asked to say, how did you choose your bridesmaids? So, quite easily my maid of honor is my cousin kate um i always knew because i didn't have her in my life growing up um a bit like my cousin laura on my nan's side that i wanted to have her as my maid of honor i'm very close with her grown very close to her very quickly so she was who i wanted to be my maid of honor and then my two bridesmaids is my sister-in-law della um, and Sophie, which is Lloyd's younger brother's girlfriend, who I talk about quite a bit in this and like Christmas and birthday videos and things like that. Um, I've got friends that I could have asked, but not anyone that I knew was that I was reliant enough on. And I wanted to keep it family. We're keep, keeping it quite small based. So it was just things like that. I'm very close to Lloyd's side of the family. I go out with them a lot. I see them a lot. So it was just really about who I knew would be there for me who would give me options but wouldn't be offended if I didn't take them and things like that. So that's really how I picked my bridesmaids and that. It was just people who were there for me on a daily basis, really. Uh, next question is, again, from Laura, wedding budget. So we haven't really got a budget in the respects of thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds but we are obviously being careful because we don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds a lot of the signage and things like that and the prop hire and all them sort of bits i'm doing myself so thankfully we don't have to spend too much money on them bits and pieces and i've got quite a good connection through my business on people that can help me out with like balloons and cakes and things like that so luckily i've been good on that area that that's not going to cost me thousands and thousands of pounds obviously venues aren't cheap um but my parents are doing a lot of that so obviously i'm not too involved in price wises on that but we're just trying to be careful we want to have the best day that we can but obviously we're trying to be careful with money at the same time uh next one again laura what's the hen do plans so i'm actually going to be having two that sounds a bit greedy my cousin Kate, obviously my maid of honour, she is planning me one in London. I don't know when and I don't know what we're doing. I've left that to her. I've just got to send her a list of the people that I want to invite. And then I'm also doing one at home with all of my bits and pieces from the business, like my flower walls, my Prosecco walls, everything like that. So I can kind of show off what I can do for hen or bridal parties and things like that. And also I've got a couple of people who can't come to London. So that's why I'm doing the party at home so that the people who can't come to London can come to that one so yeah I'm doing two but one's going to be not overly expensive or anything like that and a bit of fun and then the other one I have no idea what's happening or anything with that my cousin's planning she has asked me a few things of what I'd like to do and I've given her ideas but I have also just said to her it's completely down to you and what you want to do so next one is from Morgan she said when lloyd proposed you said the ring was the wrong way around what did you mean L literally that he opened the box upside down but i was and i know that's probably the horriblest thing to say when someone's proposing to you but i was in such shock that he was down on one knee because if anybody knows me and lloyd and knows our relationship it's i didn't think he would do that i didn't think he would be the type of person to be traditional enough to get on one knee and propose um so i was kind of just in shock that that actually happened so that's why i said that but he literally had the box upside down like upside down round the wrong way that's why i said what i said because he literally had it upside down um next question is again from morgan 
what's the wedding theme so me and lloyd are very outdoorsy fishing hunting all that sort of thing like camping and all of that so our theme is more obviously natural outdoorsy our venue we have a teepee at so we've got the fire pits and the outside gardens and everything like that um it's very color and theme is to do with us a khaki green ivory is white it's very much to do with us in our colour scheme and the outside and everything else that we do is to do with us. Hang on two seconds. Um, so yeah, theme is natural, relaxed, you know, neutral colours, pampas grass, that sort of thing. Outdoorsy and very much to do with just us and how we are next question is from laura again how much dollar did lloyd splash on the ring i don't know he bought it um mum knew what sort of styles i liked on rings and shapes and things like that and they worked together and picked it but i don't know what he picked on the ring to be honest i wouldn't want to know what he picked on the ring um i leave that to him he spent what he spent and i love my ring and that's as much as I know. Um, next question is, Morgan, any plans for kids after the wedding? So yes, we do want children. We are going to have, I think, a year or so as a married couple and then probably start trying at some point after a year or so of being married. Um, we're not in a rush, but we obviously do want to have children. Lloyd's going to be about 31 and I'm going to be about 28 when we get married. So obviously we are getting older and I don't, we don't want to leave it too long, but we're not in a rush straight after getting married to have children. Morgan, was you expecting Lloyd to propose while you was away or was you surprised? So no, I didn't know he was proposing. Um, he he did it very well. Normally when Lloyd's planning something or if he plans something, he gets really funny a couple of weeks or about a month or so leading up to it. Um, but he didn't. There was no giveaways or anything, so I didn't know. I didn't know it was happening, especially the day it happened. I didn't know that it was happening. There was no inkling of anything, no giveaway, no nothing. The only time I thought something was happening was obviously in the video before he proposed. Walking up that walkway, my mum was acting really strange. She was like, oh, my shoe's untied, while stood next to me, and it wasn't. I looked straight down, I was like, no, it's not what you and then she's faking undoing it that's when i had a hint that something was happening but i didn't think it was that so no i didn't know laura where's the honeymoon so me and lloyd are planning on australia for our honeymoon we've somewhere we've wanted to go for ages but never had the money or the time or anything to do it so we thought for our honeymoon we're going to go and have a, maybe a month at least three weeks we're going to go to australia and travel around a bit in australia for our honeymoon um i've got family out there who i found quite a few years ago on my dad's side so it means i get to meet them as well and yeah apart from like maldives or anywhere like that it's the only other place we'd really like to go everywhere else we can kind of visit when and if we want to like we want to go to singapore i've got family out there um my cousin anita so we'd be able to go out there and see her Places like that we can do whenever we want, but I don't think we'd ever get the time to do Australia again, just because of the length of time that you need for Australia. Morgan, have you got your wedding dress yet? If so, what style and where from? So yes, I do have my wedding dress. I'm actually having my mum's wedding dress, but I'm having it altered to obviously fit me and change the style around a little bit so it's a more modern but I am having my mum's wedding dress and I'm also having my mum's evening dress because my mum had two. She had the, her wedding dress and then obviously one to change into in the afternoon. I'm having both of them and I'm having them altered and changed to more my style and obviously more of a modern style, but also to fit me. I'm having the evening dress, so if I want to change in the afternoon, I can do. But yes, I'm having my mum's wedding dress. Next one again is from Laura. What is Lloyd planning for his stag do? So Lloyd is again, he's having two stag do's. He wants his first one, he's going away with a load of friends to Bulgaria for motocross for a few days just to do that. And then anyone who's 
not going to that he's having a meal back here for the people who can't go to that so a bit like what i'm doing having the two for people who can't go and things like that so yeah he's having two one he's going for motocross out in bulgaria and then the second one he's hiring like a restaurant or a pub or something here to have for the ones who can't go to that Morgan, did Lloyd ask your dad's approval before before proposing? Yes. I'd always said if Lloyd was ever going to propose, and I'd made this very clear to my mum, if he was ever to propose, he had to ask my dad. And if I'd have found out he hadn't asked my dad, I probably would have said no. It's the only thing that I really wanted to have in the most traditional sense was to ask my dad. I wanted my dad to be happy with what was going on my dad loves Lloyd to pieces anyway but I wanted to make sure that it was you know my dad was happy with it happening and things like that so yes he did actually ask my dad's approval and I found out that he asked my dad's approval on my mum and dad's wedding anniversary when I took them out for lunch um I planned something for their wedding anniversary last year and he actually asked my dad then and that's when they started planning everything because my mum and dad's wedding anniversary is four days before the day me and Lloyd got together, which is also going to be our wedding day, the 8th of July. So they got they got married on the 4th of July, we get married on the 8th. Morgan, a bit similar to I think the question you already asked. Oh no, it's not, sorry. Morgan said, who knew Lloyd was proposing beforehand? Everyone but me. My mum, my dad, my nan his mum his brother sophie della pretty much everybody knew but me so how nobody spilt it or let on to what was going on um yeah everyone but me laura why did he choose cornwall to propose because cornwall for us is a home away from home i have been going to cornwall since i was three months old i've obviously got all my cornish family down there we go every year without failure um and it's just a home away from home we're all so relaxed down there it's the best memories that we have if we could only ever go away to one place we all we, we all say Cornwall it's such a place that includes all of us like when we go for days out we're all happy with what we do it's just full of such good memories there's never been an unhappy memory down there so yeah he knew how special it was for me and i don't think doing it here there's anywhere he would have wanted to have done it except maybe where my mum and dad's wedding and we went for my mum and dad's wedding anniversary or maybe somewhere that's more relevant to me and lloyd but cornwall's relevant to everybody so that's why he did it in cornwall morgan who is your favourite out of the Costello gang? No trick answers, I want to name. Now, that is actually quite hard because I don't see them all that much. So I don't ever really get time to spend with all of them. I'm still learning things about all of them on a daily basis. I grew up, obviously, not knowing most of them for most of my life. It's only a few years ago that we all actually met and connected. So I can't actually give you a name, but I love them all to pieces. They're all you know it's lovely to have them in my life and have family back my family went from a very small family just my dad's side to now my mum's side in Cornwall and then my nan's side so yeah I can't give you one name but I love them all to pieces so we've done all of Laura and Morgan's now on to my friend Ruby the Scooby I want to start a YouTube channel but I'm shy to talk on camera any advice well from what I know about you and your TikToks and how much you talk on them I can't believe that. I know you're shy to go on camera, but talking, I don't believe that. But um, the only piece of advice that I can do is when I first started, my first video I ever did, I recorded and recorded and recorded and recorded. Now, I hate how I sound on camera with a passion and I nearly didn't do it once I filmed my first one and edited it and, you know, made it finalised. I hated the way I sounded and I wasn't going to post it. But I thought, you know what? Why? If anyone's negative, they're negative. And if anyone's got anything nice to say, they're nice to say. You just, you choose what comments you listen to. You choose what comments you don't. I think just go for it. If you don't enjoy it once you've done it, delete it. Don't do it. Blog, 
blog or video about what you enjoy so obviously for you ruby from what i know about you and everything it's going to be cars you don't have to be on camera there are a lot of videos where people don't um obviously what i choose to video i am on camera so i can't be off of that but just maybe the first couple of videos you do record 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 you know a few intros a few outros record the first videos everything like that record the record record because obviously you make mistakes and then you cock up and then you get put off with what you do and things like that so just over record maybe until you're happy with what you do it's like my intro sometimes i do about five or six takes before i find the one that i'm happy with because i've mucked up and things like that so just maybe over plan over record and then do it when you're happy do it in an environment that you're happy in and just go from there take your time if you're not ready to post it don't post it once you are go for it but i wouldn't say not do it like now i don't regret it okay i had a big gap from youtube but i've come back and i'm enjoying it better than ever i'm in a better place now that's the biggest thing as well you've got to be in a good place yourself before you can do it because if you're not you won't want to do the videos you won't want to talk you won't want to do anything next one is from charlie golding what's your go-to outfit a tracksuit or comfortable wear some days i like wearing jeans but i hate them i can't wait to get them off i'm always happy in a tracksuit as you can see now i'm in my nice one but yeah i'm always happy in a comfortable tracksuit or you know comfy clothes i have nothing better than being in comfortable clothes that's my go-to outfit is a nice tracksuit or comfortable wear next one is from laura louise what are your goals for the year so plan as much as i can early for the wedding so that i'm not stressing about anything and to really launch my business um which i spoke about in last week's video which i'll add in the description box below if you guys want to go and check that out but yeah they're my two goals for the year is obviously plan as much as i can for the wedding and to really launch my business let me just get the next questions next one is from sophie the thing you're dreading the most about planning the wedding that I don't, that the visions I've got in my head don't come out um, because I'm planning obviously the wedding so much of it on my own as in Lloyd's involved but I'm doing all the prop hire, the signage, the things like that that if they don't work out how I have them in my head that it's just not going to look right. Um, that's my biggest worry that what I'm visioning is not going to be what actually happens on the day but i suppose i can't control it if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen and i've just gotta let it happen next question is from my cousin sam which is on same side as laura wedding plans so i'm just planning as much as i can i'm we're getting married in teeston church first and then we've got a venue for afterwards I'm trying to do as much as I can myself so obviously that the budget and that is at a lower end we've obviously got the venue and we're in love with the venue I'm doing all the signs and the prop, prop hire like the post boxes and all that sort of thing myself just so it's easier I've got a really good girl doing the flowers and I had a meeting with her on Monday the 17th of January so the Monday just before this video has gone live um, to discuss flowers and sort of ideas that we want I've got a really good girl doing balloons because I'm going to have some balloons at the wedding and bits and pieces like that and yeah my dress is being designed we've got to find Lloyd suits but most things are pretty much done so I'm quite relaxed in that aspect my cake's done um, yeah so I'm not really stressed about anything that probably will change I'm not holding myself to that but um, wedding plans so far are pretty easy obviously hen do's one sorted one i have no control over and things like that so yeah i can't really say that i'm too stressed at the moment which is quite good but we will see what happens later on in the year uh, another one is from 
Laura Louise again. Where can you see yourself in five years? Obviously married. <laughs> Maybe one or two children and really hoping that my business has, you know, kicked off that I'm doing weddings and parties and things like that and I'm getting really busy and packed and things like that so in five years time I want my business to be at a really good height and to po hopefully have my own family next one is from my friend Emily what's your favorite topic to blog I don't know because I haven't done obviously I've done a few videos I do enjoy my vlogs so the couple of vlogs that I've done, I did actually really enjoy doing that because you get quite a lot in a short space of a video. I am going to, we're going to New York in May, so I am going to vlog that. Um, I enjoy doing like the birthday videos, so when it's like my nan or my mum's birthdays and what I've done and the prep and everything like that. I do enjoy them videos, but I do, you know, I enjoy the reviews ones as well. I don't really know. Leave in the comments below, guys, what sort of videos you want to see, just so I know what sort of videos to plan for the future and things like that. I always appreciate your opinions on what to do. Next one is from my friend Charlie Hughes. What's your favourite food? Now, this is really hard because I've currently gone on a diet for the next year or so just to be able to tone up and get in a bit better shape for the wedding and things like that normally my favorite food is chocolate i do love chocolate but it's not the best thing for you um but my favorite food as in for a dinner is a roast that's probably my favorite or a good spaghetti bolognese they're probably my two like favorite foods as in like a meal Next question is from my friend Lucy Appleton, who is also a TikToker and YouTuber alongside with me. What made you want to get into influencing? I don't really know on the aspects of like how you do influencing, Lucy, um, like with TikTok and things like that. But I've always wanted to do YouTube for a very, very long time, but I've always been put off. So until I took that leap of faith in myself to actually just get my first video out, and go from there um i don't know i want to try and grow my influencing side of things like working with brands and collaborating and things but i kind of never know where to really go with it so at the moment i'm just focusing on my youtube side of things just to kind of get that back to normal and out there but youtube's definitely something i've wanted to do for a very long time um but i've never been confident enough to do it until i took that leap of faith um but i definitely want to get more into the influencing side like what you do with your brand workings and things like that so if you've got any advice for me um give me a dm on instagram or leave a comment below next question is from my friend robin favorite designer brand now that's really hard because i have so many and also my mum owns a vintage shop so she always gets some really good vintage designer pieces but i would probably say my favourite, now just looking at my handbags that are in front of me, which is only a small selection of my handbags, probably Celine. Um, now, this is obviously a mini one, but I've got a bigger size of this. But this style of bag that Celine done was probably my favourite and it took me ages to get one of the bags i have a beige one at home a black and then two of the black and white ones like the mini and the big one but celine is probably one of my favorites that bags that i've got but then i do love the classics like dior and chanel and all of their mulberry so yeah i don't really know i love designer by heart but then i also love non-branded stuff as well so next question is from my friend amy hobbs's business what was your highlight of 2021 getting engaged there's nothing really else that beats it yeah getting engaged um being able to do it with my family which i thought lloyd might have just done it us too and kept it really private but he didn't he included my parents which i was over the moon with but yeah highlight of 2021 was getting engaged and I think the other biggest thing was us all being able to be together obviously through covid not everyone's been able to be together so obviously being together as a family was probably another big highlight 
Uh, last couple of questions. This one's from Paige and these are business related. Have you got any new products up your sleeve? So, yes, I want to branch into doing more balloons, but in terms of like photo shoots and events, not so much the balloons like that you do, Paige, obviously like the personalised ones that you send out for things like that, but I want to include more balloons in events like on walls or just round easels and then obviously for photo shoots just on the stands and things like that and then i'm also getting some new prosecco walls in and donut and sweet walls in but they're coming in in the next like few months because i'm having them currently made so yeah i have got some new products up my sleeves um but i'm always looking at what's popular what's not i've just currently got a shimmer wall in but i've just got to find a stand to put it on so yeah i've always got new bits coming in but i'm just always looking at what's popular what's selling what people want to hire and going from there really i don't want to have stock in that people aren't gonna use uh, next question is from Paige. What's your favourite part of your new office space? Now, I love both the baby room and the wedding room, but probably the wedding room is my favourite just because of what stock I've got. Like, obviously, the baby room, I've only got little bits because they're more for photo shoots and things like that. And I incorporate a lot of what's in the wedding room for birthday parties and bits and pieces because I can change around how it's done. But probably the wedding room just because i've got such different things as in i've got the white classic side but then i've also got the rustic you know side of like the wooden and things like that i just love the feel when you walk in i've obviously got my table there to talk to with clients and then i've got the love lights behind and things like that i just i could sit in there all day to be honest and i love looking around and i'm always looking at what's in there and if I can change things or how I would use them, things like that. So probably the wedding room is my most favourite room, like the upstairs wedding room, not the one downstairs with the dresses. And I think this is the last one, but I will double check in a second. Paige, have you sorted anything for your wedding yet? So yes, I'm pretty organised actually. I'm quite surprised at myself at how well I've done. So I've got obviously all the props and signage and everything like that I'm doing myself. So that is all done. I've got my cake done. I've got the cupcakes done. I've got the sweets done. I've got the balloons. I've got my dress, venue, church, uh, invitations and save the dates are being made. I've just got to approve the design. Um, we've got a fine Lloyd suit, but we know what colours we want. My bouquets and flowers and everything else was done Monday, just before this video goes up. So the 17th, that was done then um yeah pretty much everything's done i don't really think i'm missing much else obviously hen -dos are planned but yeah i'm pretty organized i know things are going to pop up and change throughout the year as we go but um i don't think i'm really missing anything else but i'm pretty organized in the respects of what i've got done and what i haven't so yeah i think that was the last question guys let me just check to make sure i haven't missed any nope so yeah that was the last question was from Paige so that's it for all the questions and that guys hope you enjoyed if you had any questions yourself leave them in the description box below and I will reply to them as quickly as I can that's it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed if you did smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification button to keep up with all the latest videos don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll add it on screen now and I'll link it in the description box below. And I hope to see you here next week. Bye, guys.